Welcome to BulkReefSupply.com. This is a demonstration of how to install your auto shutoff kit so you can use a float valve to completely shut off your RO system. For this project you'll need three things. An auto shutoff valve, a check valve, and a float switch. Most RO systems are plumbed exactly like this one. However, they can have subtle changes. As long as you know what each line is doing, this installation can be adjusted for any system. For example, the RO canister might be flipped around. Locate the hose that's coming out of your last carbon stage and flows directly into the RO canister. In our systems, this will be the red line. The water then exits the RO canister in two forms. The first is the waste water, which typically has a flow restrictor cylinder on it. In our systems, it's black. And also as the new purified water coming out of the blue line. The next step is to install the check valve on your purified water line. You can do this pretty close to the 90. Pick up your check valve and locate the arrow that indicates the flow direction. You want this to be going away from the RO canister. Use a push connect fitting, simply slide it on. The purpose of the check valve is to allow water to only flow in one direction so the auto shutoff unit can build up the proper pressure. Next we'll install the auto shutoff valve. Make note of the in and the out as well as the side of the screws and without. Make sure the screws are facing you when you install the auto shutoff valve. You're going to snip the red line that goes from the last carbon block directly into the RO membrane. Just cut it in half. The water is leaving the carbon block and going into the auto shutoff unit and then out of the shutoff unit into the RO membrane. Next you're going to snip the purified water line that comes out of the RO system. Make sure to do it after the check valve you installed. Again, it goes into the in and the other tube goes into the out. The last step is to install the float valve itself. Take your purified water line and locate the end. Unscrew the cap place onto the water line, insert into the float valve, and screw down tight. Many people are curious why you need the auto shutoff valve and what it does. There are two reasons. The first is because the float valve itself isn't designed to stand up against your home's full water pressure. And the second is because without the auto shutoff valve, even if the float valve were to go up, water would still rush out of the black waste water line. When the float switch goes up and closes, it creates back pressure in the blue water line. The auto shutoff valve uses that back pressure to completely shut off the red water line, which feeds the RO membrane housing. This means that no water is being fed into the membrane housing at all, so no water can come out of the purified water line or the waste water line on the other side. 